the West has a bad habit for a long time of commenting on other people. Constant, uh, constant need for validation from the West um, or is it that they are only commenting because we are giving them a window or a chance to uh, speak? Uh, <laughs> I'll, you want the truthful answer or the diplomatic answer? <laughs> uh, okay, so I give you the truthful answer. The two reasons. Reason number one is because the West has a bad habit for a long time of commenting on other people. <laughs> okay. They, they somehow think it's some kind of God-given right. Huh? And, and I think they, they will have to learn only by experience that if you keep doing this, other people will also start commenting and they will not like it when that happens. But I can see it happen. Okay. The second part of the truth is we can have our arguments, but when in our arguments you actually invite the world to come and comment on you, okay, then people are more tempted to comment, no? So we also need to not give those very generous invitations to the world saying, yes. oh, there are problems in India, you know, America and Europe, why are you standing by and doing nothing? So if somebody from here goes and says, why are you standing by and saying nothing, then obviously they are going to comment. So, Part of the problem is them, part of the problem is us, and I think both need fixing. You know, I, 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 I very well disposed towards Mr. Jayashankar. I've known him for a long time and I, I consider him as a friend. But on this issue, I think we, we need not be so thin-skinned. I think it's very important that as a government we learn to take some things in stride. If we start reacting to every comment, we are really doing ourselves a disservice. And I would strongly urge my good friend Jay to cool it a bit. I think it's one thing you say in a park for a bunch of youngsters, but when that resonates around the world, it doesn't play very well. Mm -hmm.